Hi, uh, Easton Corbett's here. How you doing, buddy? Good. What is this? Oh, that's what Laura Bell Bundy I believe. Yeah. I believe. She's a trip. I know. Yeah. It's too early in the morning. Well, I'm not that funny. It is not morning. morning. We've been up since 1.30, morning, Vegas time. Morning, yeah. What is it? 1.30, Vegas. I don't know why I'm looking at this watch. I shouldn't watch. even went to bed last. Let me ask you, Easton, Easton Corbett. So, do, do, have you ever in your life liked something so much that when it was broken, you would never get rid of it? Uh, and there's a reason I ask you this. Probably. Do you know what it'd be? Uh, I mean, nothing comes to your mind. No. Like Natalie's watch, for example, which she's wearing. It doesn't even work. No. It, I just don't. I don't know if it works. It doesn't What's work. time, guys? It doesn't work. <laughs> really? Yeah, I know it's stupid, huh? All right. Yeah. All right. Okay, it got I, weird. Yeah. Yeah. It got quiet. Kind yeah, of, yeah. It got awkward in the locker room. I, I'm sure every person has asked you this, but I really want to know don't the answer. Laughing. Should I not? I mean, like the George Strait comparison. Uh oh. Yeah. Is everyone yeah, said no, that? No, no. no, hey, I tell you what, it's a great. Uh, it it it's an honor. It's an honor, you know. I mean, he's I mean, the George king of country. country. Yeah. yeah. But I will say this: there will never be another George Strait. So, right. Uh, you know, I just get out there and, and sing songs I love and sing them like I sing. So, you know. I like. As a kid, you were never like, I want to try to. You know, yeah, like my, 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 my biggest influences when I was a kid uh, was Merle Haggard, Keith Whitley, and George Jones. And I do, I, you know, it, it, anytime you're growing up listening to those records, you know, you, you want to sing like those guys. I, I remember I, I wanted to sing like Keith Whitley, or Keith Whitley and Merle Haggard, you know, those were. Try it. That, man, I'm not that good. Do Oki from Muskogee. I, I will embarrass myself because <laughs> nobody sounds like those guys. <laughs> but, you know, like growing up as a kid, yeah. it's like you emulate those guys. Totally. I wanted to be Michael you know? Jordan. Yeah. I stuck the yeah. tongue out. Yeah. And everything. You know? See? So, and that didn't help. Did it work? It didn't. I got a basketball scholarship. Did, did you really? Yeah, see? Oh, it worked. Yeah. Maybe it did. Yeah, and you yeah. got a record. And you got a record deal. I know, right? Yeah. Right? You, you both have succeeded in life. <laughs> What's that song that you sing on stage that uh, just everyone goes crazy for? Um, What is the song? Yeah, what is song. that song that you're like, man? Like I say, the crowd's, the, the crowd's going downhill. I'm going to uh -huh. sing that song and bring them up. Probably roll with it. Yeah? Yeah. I love that song. Oh, Great song. But well, we have your single out. So okay. it's time to get them, get them. So, we, so forget roll with it. Forget roll. No, don't no. forget roll oh, with it. Yeah. Right? Everyone, yeah. don't Let's, listen to that song anymore. <laughs> Let's get fired up about this one. It's okay. always your go to song. Yeah. You can always yeah. go to that one. Yeah. Crap. Uh, no, we got a new, new single out called Loving You is Fun. And I tell you what, I'm so excited about it. it it's been a while since we've had anything on the radio. You know, a lot of people ask me. Yeah. It's been about a yeah, year. It's probably been close to a year now. But I tell you what, and this song is off the new record. And uh, I think it's so important for a new, you know, for a debut single, or not a debut single off a uh, second record or any record. Um, you know, it's just, I think it's important, it's upbeat and just kind of. So we got a good upbeat song. song. Absolutely. Good feel to it. You ain't thinking about anything too much. Because when you got, I don't like to think. Oh, so okay. I'm not real good at that. I don't know how to think. I don't think. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's a summer song, it's, it's or any time song, but it's about having a good time and uh, rolling the windows down. Who's your favorite right now? Like, what's in your CD player? Uh, my CD player, it's so funny. I was just talking to my buddies out there, and I just downloaded some, uh, and, and, and I've known these guys, or not known them, but I, I've known their music and, and other stuff, man. Actually, Restless Heart. Restless Heart, that's stuff. old school, man. Yeah, great great stuff. stuff. Yeah, I, well, I, I, you know, I was thinking about it the other day, and, and that's that's what I do sometimes. I'm driving around, and I'm thinking, it's like, man, I'd love to hear that song, you know? And it's like, that's when I go like to iTunes and, you know, pull it up. And, and pull it up and like, I need to download some of that. How about non country? Non country? Non country, favorite uh, one? Shoot, I don't know. Or is it all country? It, it's it's a lot of country, you know? Yeah? Yeah. Hey, that's what you do. That's man. what I do. Yeah. yeah. So, it's course, a lifestyle, too. Absolutely. So, you know, with the new single, we've got the record. Um, we finished that up. It'll be coming out in the fall, hopefully. Be on tour Brad Paisley this summer, so that's gonna be a fun tour. We were actually we were talking about the tours last night, and and I had yet to see Brad. Uh, oh, he's my so life good. has just right. had not yeah. worked out. I've been able to see it, and we were talking about it. Like, yeah, that is an awesome, fun tour to be on. Oh, it's great, you know, it's great. He does a great job, and uh, you know, it's it's a great opportunity for me as a new artist to get out there in front of all those people. Have yeah. you been pranked yet? You know, I, I was pranked when I was out there. I was actually on tour with him about two years ago on the water stage, yeah, and we were doing a roll with it. And I started getting rolls thrown at me. <laughs> That's awesome. Now I'm up there. I'm up there like ducking, trying to see. Yeah. And I actually, I actually got hit the head one time with a roll. Easton's got a concussion. And I'm telling you, a, a roll that's like three days old. That hurts. Dude, that I have to ask another question. Wait. It's not freshly baked. It's so Easton. Were, you, were your parents in the baseball? No. Why do you ask? They that? weren't. Easton no. bats. I just, I've always wanted to know that about you. Uh. I guess I actually, could my parents owned a company. Yeah. They owned a baseball company. Yeah. For real? No. Huh. 
Easton Corbin. You can tell me anything and I'll believe you. I believe it. Man, yeah. thank you for coming by. We appreciate hey, it. Hey, thank you so much. What do you, can we, t can I ask your question? Okay, now? we're ready now. What, what do you like to talk about, music or your acting? Oh, no, I don't anything. I don't care. I like to talk about myself. It's like yeah. my favorite thing to do. All right, so great, what do you, you know do on, on, a, on a Monday night? What TV show are you watching? You know, I don't really watch a lot of TV, but um, when I watch it, it's Smash and The Voice. I hear you say that. You and Blake are good buddies. Yeah, we're good, and I love to hear what he's going to say. And I love every time there's a song, he's like, never heard of that song. And like, I love it because, I mean, I, okay, every time I hang out with he and Miranda in, in Nashville, they always like, we're going to karaoke, either winners really? or karaoke. Yeah, they love karaoke. And Blake, or in LA, I've, I've done karaoke with him. And he will know the entire country catalog. He will know it all, like old stuff, new stuff, he will know it all. I mean, you play like, he didn't know the piano man. No. And we made him sing it. How could he not know the piano man? He didn't know the piano. I was like, what? Yeah. Who doesn't know? It's Billy Joel. Like even Garth Brooks covers so Billy Joel. So Billy Joel. So I think <laughs> only uh, song that he would know would be Shameless or oh. When the Rain Is Blowing In Your Face. That song. Yeah. How could he not the piano man? I'm still stuck on that. Yeah. Really? I don't know. Because he's not a piano man. He's a guitar man. Oh, yeah, okay. Because <laughs> uh, we had Gwen in here who was on his team. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wish oh, she was in my room hanging out last night. <laughs> and what were you guys doing? Um, Drinking Fireball. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Fireball. Okay, where are you going to be next? Because we days. know Fireball. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Have you agreed with everyone he sent home? Um, I haven't been watching completely. Okay, so. Nice. I want to hear one of you. But you know what? I will say out of all those. All, out of all the judges, I actually think he has the best ear. Oh, really? I think he has one of the best ears. Like, he can go... He can hear and tell him. He really is listening for pitch, and he's, you know... My deal is when I watch that, I look for performance. Can you see it through their eyes? Like, I... I said last year when he first started, I sent him a text. I was like, listen, I got some notes for some of your... some people on your team. I'll just send them to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, you know. He's like, shut up. But he um, retweets a lot, a lot of your stuff. Yeah, it, it, you're pretty funny. I want to hear one of your um, your voices. Like the is it? I keep Cooter, Cooter County. Yeah, people say Cooter count, uh, Country, um, Quacky County. It's but it's Cooter. Okay, it's, so it want, sounds not. So you, so you want to know about my Cooter? Yeah. No. Oh, no yeah. That's, See, this is what I'm talking that about. That's why you and Blake get along. Something different. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, what do you want me to do? Like a Actually, voice? Yeah, I want you to do. Do you have? I want you to do that character. Which one? Cooter! No, they're all... There's oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. There's do like ten characters. Okay, the, 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 the old lady. Yes, yeah. do that one. The old lady's name is Unita Biscuit. <laughs> Hello! Hi, Tulsa! I'm Unita Biscuit, and you're listening to... K95. K95. And I'm still alive, but I do have flatulence. <laughs> and then, I love pretty girls that have a sense of humor. Isn't that the best? Yes. I just love pretty girls, yeah. so... Well, <laughs> I, you know what, I, that's, I like pretty girls that have a sense of humor. I like girls that have a sense of yeah. humor. Right. Yeah, right. You have to. I know, but there are a lot of girls who just aren't funny. They can't be. I mean, no offense to women out there. I think this is the problem. Women tend to be more sensitive, mm -hmm. and they don't laugh at themselves as much. They take things to heart. As soon as a girl can, can laugh at themselves and can laugh at the world around them, mm -hmm. this, better time they will have getting a guy yep. and the more they will enjoy life yeah that's and i used to be one of, like real sensitive about this or that or you know i never put people down right because there's no reason for that mm -hmm. but i make fun of myself and if you can do that and have fun at it life is just yeah because it's i mean geez i mean i you know i'm just stuck in this body for a limited time right. and then i'm out of here for a limited right. time only <laughs> for a limited <laughs> time only my spirit is in the <laughs> and then it will leave this body and and I might as well have fun in it, right? Yeah, totally. And I can't, That's some good I, advice, I can't be like so serious about. I mean, it's just life, right? Okay, I agree. Have fun with life. I, you need a biscuit. They play today's best country. That's why I spell country. K95. 